A date has finally been set for the opening of Perth Arena, even though it's overdue and way over budget. Tonight we can show you its retractable roof, which is better than venues in Melbourne. Ours is faster. The roof here at Perth Arena takes just over seven minutes to open or close. That's faster than Melbourne's Rod Laver Arena, which takes 25 minutes. This is where some of the world's best performers will turn it on for the people of Perth. George Michael will, we might get Elton John and will open the Perth Arena with a concert on November 11. Perth Arena isn't even finished, but it's already dividing our city. But ugly buildings can become beautiful. While the new Perth Arena is dividing the city now, opinion could change over the decades. There is no doubt this is going to be a magnificent facility. It's just a weird looking building. I love it. I think it looks awesome. If you had to sum it up in one word, what would you say? Piggledy piggledy. People say it's a bit of an ice or but you know, it's something different. Yep. Yeah, something unusual. Architecture, I don't think it's particularly good. I love it and I'm, I'm waiting to see until it's finished. I don't like it. Every time I go past it on the train, it's just... Yeah, I think it's, um, it looks like a dog. There's no problem with a building being notable, being memorable, being talked about and I'm hopefully it'll stay like that. I think if that dissipated, that would be disappointing. No, I don't think it's ugly, it's just different and I think we need a little bit of difference here in Perth. We've, our architecture has tended to be a bit ho-hum. Ken Adam has been an architect for almost 50 years and he isn't keen. It is attention seeking and quite deliberately so. I don't think it'll be here in 50 years time. Perth building magnate Len Buckridge has described the Perth Arena as the most disgraceful building he's ever worked on. He's also criticised the design of the building which he says resembles a squashed beer can. Squashed beer can. It's been dubbed the squashed beer can but what can costs 550 million dollars. It'll mean that they'll make money for, for a change, number one. It'll mean that we'll have 10,000 people sh sh shouting and all wearing red. It'll change the atmosphere of basketball. Even before Bernard Tomic and Novak Djokovic were announced as the first signings of the post-Paul McNamee era, all 36 corporate suites were sold out for the Hopman Cup. I really look forward to that. I've heard that uh, they're, they're moving the tournament to... Uh, to an outdoor, outdoor venue, I mean, with a, as you said, with a retractable roof, so it's going to be very interesting to see. Describe it as being, I guess, exciting, challenging, thought-provoking, even luxurious in some of its uh, ambitions and its finishes, and uh, I guess a, a, a good fit with the sort of aspirations that I think Perth now currently has. So what was in the minds of the architects who designed it? We got a bit fascinated by the Roundhouse in Fremantle, which is Western Australia's oldest public building, and we thought there was this nice resonance between its oldest public building and what was going to be its newest public building. So the Roundhouse has a, a, a remarkable plan. It's a sort of a ten-sided polygon. It also happens to be the shape of a puzzle, which is called the Eternity Puzzle. And um, in, in our work, we've, we've had quite a bit of interest in the use of puzzles uh, as, as a way to generate architectural form. They also carry with this idea that something is never quite finished, that there's always more to it than, than meets the eye. I think sentiment is, mm. is changing, and I think a lot of the commentary um, over the last few months um, was derived at a time when the building was incomplete. Um, the facade is now going onto the building, um, and people are beginning to get an impression of what it's going to finally look like, and, and certainly anecdotally, uh, the feedback um, in the last month or two has been um, very positive. And I would say uh, to people, wait till it's finished. You really can't judge buildings like this while they're, while they're incomplete. Um, you know, we're very confident that it'll be something that um, people in Perth and in Western Australia will feel very proud of. But having said that, you can't tell people what to think and it would be boring if everybody loved it.